So welcome to another video um, answering some of the common questions that I've gotten about the CPA exam, uh, best practices and tips. And the question I want to talk about today is what time of day should I study? Where in the day is it most effective? And I think for most people, the answer is going to be the very first thing. Now, of course, there are some people who are night owls where um, later at night after work, after you're done with everything, they do kind of get a second wind and get more energy working close to when everybody else is asleep around midnight. Um, but I do think that's definitely a small percentage of people. So for the vast majority, I don't think studying late at night is going to be very effective. And then I know a lot of people will try to study right after work in the more evening time. But I think for most of us, it's going to need to be first thing, um, if you're full-time working before work, if you're a full-time student, maybe before your classes um, will be best. And I think the reason is, it's really easy to go into the day having the goal to study when you're through with your work or through with your classes, but how many times have you had something you wanted to do, whether it was CPA studying or otherwise, and you, you, know, you go into the day with that intention, but then the day is stressful, it's tiring, um, it drains you more than you expect, and then at the end of the day, you just want to have some dinner and then you just want to relax. Um, after you're depleted from your day, it's really tough to engage especially in something that is so mentally draining as studying for the CPA. And I think everyone would agree, like when you're doing that, you need to have brain power and willpower left or else you're just not gonna be learning a lot and retaining a lot. So even if you are able to study at the end of the day, you, it might not be as effective um, and you might, you might not learn as much if you're even able to get the motivation to do it all. It's, it's so easy. Um, after a full work day to say like, oh, to put it off until tomorrow. You know, today was tough. I'll just, you know, tomorrow I'll have more energy. Tomorrow I'll be more motivated and able to study. Especially if you, and if you are working in public accounting, your full-time job and trying to study at the same time, if you are doing accounting all day, then it's even harder to do even more of it after eight hours or even longer because during busy season, it's going to be almost impossible to study after work. So, what do we do instead? I think you just you need to do it the very first thing. Um, you know, depending on depending on where you live, um, your teams might log on at different times of the day. Like I know sometimes cities might be a little bit later, but if you have to wake up earlier and the thing you don't have to study for hours before work, even just you know thirty minutes, sixty minutes, whatever you can do. So you might have to wake up a little earlier, um, which can be tough at first. It'll take some time to get used to it if it's something you haven't done before. But I think you know we do the most important things first before everything else sort of crowds them out. And I would, if you are trying to pass the CPA, I would guess it is something very important to you. So it needs to be that number one priority. Um, it needs to get done first. And I would say, you know, you might say, but Blake, what about you know, is it going to take away from my work? But I would say, have you actually spoken to your teams about it? Have you talked to your seniors, your managers, or your partner, and told them? You know, do they know that you're studying and you're trying to pass? Um, and my guess would be they'll probably try to support you in that. If you, you know, if you tell them like, hey, I'd like to log on at nine or nine thirty or even ten and just work later into the day. Maybe you work until six or seven, but by logging on later, you then have that time to really sit down and focus when you're fresh, when your brain's not depleted. Um, when you do have a lot of energy, you're not you're not hitting that afternoon lull and nap. Um, hopefully, that they would be open to being flexible in that regard and letting you carve out that time first thing. And so, yes, general advice: even if you're not a morning person, you probably have to you know start start work in the, you know in the morning. You have your classes, your work, and so I think trying to get your studying in there to make sure you actually get it done. It's a lot easier to get it knocked out first thing because at the end of the day you're just not gonna feel like it. So, and it's something you try it, try it for a week or two. If it doesn't work, you can always adjust. But um, in my experience from what I did personally and from a lot of the people I've talked to, I think that that's a, a best practice to certainly try. So thanks, hope it was helpful.